Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 21st of January. It's clear. It's cold. Some folks had a little snow last night. Not much, as expected. Let's uh, take a look at the Skycam Network. We'll start up at Russellville in Franklin County. And, yeah, they got a little dusting up there. About uh, a quarter inch of snow is on the ground. And that's where most of the accumulating snow was up in the Tennessee Valley, as expected. Had a few flakes down here and nothing beyond that. Uh, there's the Birmingham Metro uh, look from Inverness in Shelby County. Uh, things are nice and quiet out on US 280 and from Fayette. There's a look at uh, downtown Fayette. And again, the roads are mostly dry. Just keep in mind that uh, we are below freezing, so any standing water uh, by chance left over from last night will be ice, but I don't think there's a lot of that. Here's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. The uh, trough that brought the uh, light precipitation last night is on by, and it's cold. It's cold. It's 21 in Haleyville, uh, 25 for Coleman and Gadsden, Birmingham at 26 degrees, and uh, we'll struggle to reach the low 40s today, but at least the sun will be out, and that will make feel a little better, take some of the edge off. And Look at that finger of brutally cold air coming down from uh, Canada. Looks like in the core of that thing, it's about 36 below zero. Up around International Falls, Minnesota, about 25 below zero. Yikes. And again, we're just kind of catching a glancing blow. Not that thing in uh, full force, thank goodness. There's the watch warning map. Most all of those advisories will be lowered uh, this morning to the north of us as this uh, system is on by. Still some winter weather advisories up in New England for that. And a few out west over Montana. All right, looking ahead, the QPF chart, precipitation through Tuesday evening of next week. And this is suggesting um, about a quarter to a half inch here with the heavier totals to the south and east. And, boy, that's going to be an interesting storm early next week, and it's going to be another close call. Let's take a look. This is the 06 GFS at noon today. There's a trough rotating through the northeast. Down below that, we are cold and dry. And sunny. Again, it'll be good to see the sun, but uh, uh, pretty brisk. The uh, GFS is showing 39 today, and that might be right. Dew points dropping into the single digits. Very dry air coming in here. Now, uh, tomorrow, notice the shortwave energy rotating through the base of the trough. That's pretty strong, and uh, a lot of the guidance is showing some clouds coming in here tonight and tomorrow morning, and I think we'll sure lean that way in the forecast. Uh, underneath that, the air is so dry you know, a single-digit dew points. I don't think anything would reach the ground, so uh, we'll forecast the sky. Becoming cloudy tonight, and maybe some clouds tomorrow morning, and then the sun breaks out tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the high tomorrow, mid-40s on both the uh, GFS and the NAM. And then Sunday looks like a pretty decent day. Uh, we should break 50 with a, a partly sunny sky. The uh, GFS is printing 54 for Birmingham. All right, let's go to Monday of next week, and there's your energy off to the west. A little chunk of energy breaks away from that. You can see over uh, Mississippi and Louisiana, and you can see a little light uh, rain developing over Alabama Monday. Now, you know, if that would develop early enough, say, during the pre-dawn hours, there might be a brief period of sleet, maybe a little freezing rain in spots, but it looks like that will be just some light rain on Monday. And we'll check the uh, North American mesoscale model at noon Monday. It's a little colder and a little wetter. And again, that's going to be a close call for wintry precipitation if it starts early in the day. But for now, we don't see enough evidence to really support anything serious. So we're just going to mention a chance of rain at times Monday. We'll go to Monday night. This is the uh, GFS. The uh, freeze line at 850 is north of us. Uh, so again, that would be rain. But look at Tuesday. Oh, boy. A full-blown surface low develops coming out of the Gulf near Tallahassee. And, uh, boy, that is a very close call for a snow event here. I mean, really close. And, uh, you know, trying to peg the thermal values this far in advance is pretty hard to do. Uh, but that certainly suggests we'll have rain Monday and maybe Monday night, possibly changing to snow or snow flurries or light snow at least Tuesday morning. And there's Tuesday night. That thing really deepens down to 1,000 millibars up near the uh, North Carolina coast, but it's departing and it's on the way out. 
Let's check the uh, European. This is uh, valid midday Tuesday. Same thing. Got good surface low around Tallahassee. That 540 line is really below us, and that would suggest maybe some good snow for northeast Alabama Tuesday morning. The Canadian, very similar but farther north, uh, with a better chance of snow over Tennessee and extreme northwest Alabama. But, uh, boy, it's a tough call to make this far in advance, and I think what we'll do in the forecast is mention just rain Monday, although it might begin as a little sleet of freezing rain Monday morning with a possible changeover to snow late Monday night or Tuesday morning. And we'll just leave any potential accumulation on the table for later. And then Wednesday, the whole thing is, look at that, 988 millibars. What a whopper of a storm. That's a blizzard almost for a New York City and some of the inland areas there, if this is right. And we're just uh, dry. Uh, Thursday of next week turns a little colder, maybe some flurries. And then a week from today, uh, the long wave trough becomes reestablished over the east. Some energy coming through South Alabama, and that just looks very cold. 540 line down to Jacksonville, Florida. Goodness. Again, maybe some light snow for South Alabama. Boy, this winter has been snowy and cold and unsettled. And then the following day, Saturday, the 29th, looks dry. All right, let's dig a little deeper. The 2nd of February. Oh, boy. All right, now. Cold air in place, a southwest flow aloft. And uh, goodness, that opens the door for all kind of mischief right there. And, and I'll say this, the GFS has been very consistent in the idea of some type of winter storm out here around Groundhog's Day. Will it happen? Nobody knows that yet. This is still out there in voodoo country. And on the 4th, <laughs> Looking for a warm-up? Forget about it. Goodness. Full latitude trough over the east, and again, very cold with a big 1,036 millibar high nosing in here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.